76 let's read it if for the homogeneous gas phase reaction 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3 at 800 Kelvin Kp is equals to 1.6 per atm then Kc will be student here we know that Kp is equals to Kc RT raised to the power delta Ng we have to calculate Kc so Kc is equals to Kp upon RT raised to the power delta ng so first we'll be calculating delta ng so delta ng is equals to number of gaseous uh, moles of in products minus number of gaseous reactants so this is 2 minus 3 which is equals to minus 1 that means kc is equals to kp upon rt raised to the power minus 1 which is equals to kp into rt so let's put the values kp is equals to 1.6 the value of r is 0 0.0821 liter atm per kelvin per mole and the value of temperature is given 800 kelvin so we have to multiply the entire thing it will be 105.088 that means the correct answer is option number one Moving to next question, which is 77. Let's read it. When a catalyst is added to equilibrium, then catalyst affects the activation energy of both the forward and backward reaction equally. Student, this is a correct statement as catalyst decreases the activation energy of both the forward and the backward reaction equally. Moving to the next statement, catalyst changes equilibrium constant student this is an incorrect statement as the value of equilibrium constant depends upon the value of temperature on changing temperature the value of equilibrium constant changes moving to next catalyst changes the energy of reactant molecules no it is also an incorrect statement catalyst changes energy of product molecules also this is an incorrect statement that means the correct answer is option number one moving to the next question let's read it if for the given reaction 2x gaseous plus y gaseous gives x2y gaseous at 300 kelvin delta s naught is equals to 8.0 joule per kelvin per mole and delta g naught is equals to 60 kilojoule per mole then delta h naught will be student let's solve this question here we know that delta g naught is equals to delta h naught minus t delta s naught we have to calculate the value of delta H naught. So, delta H naught is equals to delta G naught plus T delta S naught. So, let's put the values. Delta G naught here is 60 kilojoules. So, 60 plus. The value of temperature is 300. So, 300. The value of delta S is 8. So, we have to convert this into kilo because it's given in joules. So, 10 to the power minus 3, which is equals to 62.4 kilojoule per mole. That means the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to the next question, which is 79. Let's read it. Which of the following is an intensive property? Student intensive properties are independent of the quantity of the matter. Here, molar heat capacity is an intensive property. On the other hand, heat capacity, enthalpy and volume all are extensive properties. That means the correct answer is option number one. Moving to the next question, which is question number 80. Let's see the question. For the reaction SO2 gaseous, plus half O2 gaseous gives SO3 gaseous. The correct relation of delta H and delta U is student writing the formula to relate delta H and delta U. Delta H is equals to delta U plus delta NG RT. So first of all we have to calculate delta NG. So delta NG is equals to number of gaseous products minus number of gaseous reactants. So product is 1 and reactant will be 3 by 2 that means minus 1 by 2 so delta h is equals to delta u minus 1 by 2 r t that means the correct relation is represented in an option number 3 
moving to the next question